Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I wanted to show you, share with you my thoughts on the brand new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the Unlocked Palette, the brand new palette, limited edition. They bring these out every year around this like time for Christmas. This one blew me away when I saw it. I was like, this is what my palette. Every year I've seen these palettes and been like, oh, it's beautiful. I'd love it. But there's always something that holds me back. I feel like in previous years, the blushes haven't been my shades. Some of the powders I feel like I wasn't gonna use. Um, when I saw the swatches of this on Trendmood's page, I was like, this is it. This is my palette. This is the year for me. That I'm gonna get this palette. So I literally got it like that. It went up on FYI Beauty's page, which gives you all the beauty news for the UK launches. So as soon as I saw it was released on Cult Beauty, I snapped it up. Next day delivery, it's literally just arrived. So I'm gonna unbox it with you, put everything on my face, and talk to you about whether I think it's worth your money or not. So, quick side note, I got two samples from Cult Beauty, and look at how good these sizes are. Samples. So I chose the Brio Geo maybe a uh, reparative leave-in conditioning spray so this is for your hair and this is a cocoa and eve like a virgin coconut and fig hair mask so i'm really impressed by the size of these samples cult beauty thanking you but on to the main event so here is the outer box and it's got the little bunny on it so if you don't know hourglass have kind of said that this is like their promise of their commitment to being completely vegan um, i think it was by 2019 so this is completely vegan and completely cruelty free of obviously hourglass is the brand already five percent of the profit of this palette is going to be going to the non-human rights project which is an american animal rights charity which is amazing apparently one percent of all hourglasses products goes to that charity but for this palette they're doing five percent so that's a little bit extra packaging and then here is the palette wow shiny it's like just very luxe very luxurious beautiful packaging with the cutest little bunny on the front there it's so beautiful you guys <laughs> wow so here is the palette you can see how big that mirror is really nice size mirror and all the shades let me turn my lights down so you might get a bit of a better idea of the shades So you have up here your two finishing powders so they kind of give you different options different skin tones you can mix them together i probably will mix mine together you could use the lighter shade under your eyes and the other shade all over or you could just use the lighter shade if you're more fair you've got a bronzer up here which looks to be quite a luminous bronzer you've got two blushes this one here looks really luminous like you can see a lot of glitter in there this one looks more of like a maybe a satin finish and then this is your highlight shade down here so before I put all of this on my face, I wanted to quickly talk to you about the value of this product because it is very expensive, it is a commitment, it is an investment for most people, it certainly was for me, although I knew I really wanted to buy it, it wasn't like, you know, dropping a tenner, it's, you know, basically 70 quid, so yeah, it is a lot of money, it's £80, £69 in the UK, for the six pans of product so the product itself you get 1.4 grams in each of these pans if you've seen hourglasses travel sized powders before so they do travel sized versions of their ambient lighting powder which is these two they do travel sized bronzers they do travel sized blushes and they do a travel sized um highlight as well highlight sorry so that 1.4 grams is either the same or a little bit more than their travel sized blushes bronzers and ambient lighting powders which are 20 pounds in the uk and around 24 dollars in the us so essentially you're getting six for the price of three ish so this is a far better deal than those travel sized 
powders are so for me this is perfect it's given me the chance to try their setting powders their bronzers their blushes and their highlights in one very travel friendly palette I knew looking at the swatches and looking at this that I'm going to use everything in here all of the time and be able to travel with it but if you're looking at this and you're like that blush isn't my shade I won't be able to use one of the powders and maybe the bronzer is either too light or too deep for me it's probably then going to lose its value to you so to me this only really offers you value if you're going to use at least four or five of the powders quite regularly otherwise you may as well buy a couple of either the full size products which are um, better value for money like pound to gram and obviously you know that you'll, you can choose the colours that you want so all of the shades in here are limited and they are new and exclusive to this palette you can't buy any of the shades in here separately as singles so anyway that is enough blathering on without further ado let's try it on my face so i have foundation on i have the um estee lauder double wear light on today and i've also got my uh two face born this way concealer which i have set with my hood of powder because i don't really envision me using these setting powders to set my concealer or under my eyes i prefer to use um my setting powder for that so I'm going to mix the two ambient lighting powders together on my big powder brush to set the rest of my face. Just lightly, I've never used these before. The only Hourglass product I have is one of their bronzers. I have the Luminous Bronze Light. I'm just going to buff that a little bit. So these powders are obviously designed to set. They're supposed to give you like an airbrush finish and be very like light diffusing and smoothing. And I'm kind of like using the lighter one in the center of my face. Hi baby girl. Did you have a good day? Wow, I can't wait to hear about it. I love you. I was just got home from school, sorry about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of buff that in now. I do see it is really smoothing. I'm not saying it making a huge difference, but obviously I guess the main difference is for it to set your makeup. I'm like an NC40 at the moment, and the shade that I have of the Essay Lord on is Shell Beige, just for reference. So I'm really excited to try the bronzer. This is kind of the thing I'm most excited for, because I do like their bronzers. I like a luminous bronzer. It's going on really nicely. Oh, that is like the perfect shade for me. It's not too warm. I'm not having much issues. I'm trying to, trying to be a little bit careful putting my brush in there. This is a MAC 135, by the way. Oh, and the powder brush, I know everyone wants to know, is the Morphe E41. I must remember to tell you. This is like my perfect bronzer shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's perfect. It's also like the perfect amount of pigment. Like it's not like I put it on and I'm like, oh Christ, that is a mistake. If you have really fair skin, you could always diffuse the bronzer using the lighter setting powder. I've seen people suggesting that. Um, but I don't think this is gonna bronze you if you're like an NC42 or darker. This is probably, I'd say I'm about the darkest skin tone for this bronzer at about an NC40. Because I'm building it up quite a lot and you can see it's it's still quite soft. That is so beautiful. It's got a gorgeous finish to it. It's like luminous but there's no visible glitter. That is really nice bronzer. So next up, I'm gonna go and use the highlight shades. There's only one highlight in here and that's easy to get your highlight brush in here. This is my fan brush's Sigma fan brush F42. Yep. Oh, okie dokie. 
I really was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting it. I thought that was going to be really subtle. I've never used an hourglass highlight before and I think in my head from what I've seen before people saying is that they are really subtle and like a sort of lit from within but that packs a punch. Wow. Can you see that? I was not expecting that. Wow, that is really pretty. It's not exaggerating texture either. Look how smooth it looks. We'll do swatches after we have have applied it and I'll also show you some natural daylight swatches because I know people love the daylight. Really lovely highlight. That was to me the thing that I was thinking I either won't use or might not like because I just haven't really I've, heard, I've seen their palette has done very well, their newest ambient lighting palette, but I haven't, previous to that, they were sort of softer. People didn't talk about them that much. And I did hear that this is the same formula as that new palette, so if you like that palette, then obviously you'll appreciate the formula in here. That's lovely. Wow, so far, so very good. I'm really torn with the blushes. I almost want to mix them together, but I do want to show you them. So yeah, I'm going to do the lighter one, I think, just because it's calling my name with the glitter in there. You can see lots of glitter, but I think once you buff it into the skin. So this is really soft and subtle on my skin tone. So again, if you're a bit lighter, this blush will be perfect for you. If you're a bit darker, it's barely showing up on me, so mixing the two will be a good thing for you. And if you're really deep, you could even use this, I guess, as like a highlighting blush, or even just a highlight. That highlight, I'm really shocked. Everything is blending beautifully, nothing's sitting on the skin, and although this is looking really luminous, this blush, it's not looking glittery, it's not looking like too much, not looking like I put glitter on my cheeks. Everything is looking really soft and beautiful and pretty, which is exactly, I feel like Hourglass's vibe of life is to be like feminine, soft, natural skin-like, which is kind of how I feel like this all looks. You're not really gonna be able to see the ambient lighting powders because they are just, you know, very skin colored. Here is the lighter shade, which is literally the exact shade of my very pasty underarm and then this is the darker shade which is pretty close to my skin tone We've got the bronzer here which is very luminous but not glittery this is the lighter blush which i use which is very luminous you can kind of see very fine glitter in there and then this is the deeper blush, which is more of a satin to matte finish. And then the highlight on the end, which is like a very pretty champagne. So now you'll be able to see the swatches, much nicer swatches in natural daylight so that you can see. Just want to give you a real close up of my skin so you can see bronzer, blush, highlight and the powders all together. How soft and smooth everything looks. The highlight is really wet looking, really pretty. That's kind of the surprise of the palette for me. I wasn't expecting it to be so beaming. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the new Hourglass Unlocked Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm obsessed with it. I will use this every day. This will definitely go into like my everyday glam mum school run makeup bag that I keep downstairs with like a few bits in it because this is just everything in one place and I just love that but I could take this foundation mascara on holiday with me and I'm like set or when I travel this is going to give me so many options in one place which is why I've had my eye on one of these palettes for so long but this very much for me was like the palette when I saw these shades it was like the palette for me um I don't really have anything like this in my collection i've been looking for something for a long time and it is just perfect the bronzer i'm so happy because that was i wasn't really sure what the bronzer was going to be like on my skin tone i love it it's very easy to use i didn't have any issues fitting the brushes into the pans they're about the perfect size for a brush 
blush brush. The highlighting brush was easy, no pop bother because it's obviously smaller. Using my MAC 135 a little bit carefully and the bronzer was not an issue at all. Obviously a huge powder brush like I use is quite a lot bigger than the pans but when I mix them together again it's really not an issue and you could obviously use a smaller powder brush than I do. So there you have it. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions as always please ask me down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Otherwise take care for now and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye 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 bye.